What's up guys? Just wanted to do a bit of corrections to my past review that I've already done. You can check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. So a bit of a part two. Um, I did make a couple of mistakes in the last one that I just noticed. Really, really stupid mistakes. So I didn't want to have to delete that whole video because I put time into editing it and all. So I just thought I'd make a bit of a continuation video expanding on, you know, where I went wrong and yeah, anyways, you can see I have painted the kit, just the white bits. It's still a bit messy. I do need to clean up. It's literally just one day after I did the review. So this is literally just like one day, well, a little less than one day of work because I haven't been spending a whole day on it, but I have painted all the white bits up. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that up soon. And I have also threw on some water slides so you can see all the little caution markings and the Neo Zeon symbol on the left shoulder there. I've done a little bit of panel lining here and there, but there's not many panel line options on this kit. Um, I mean, you could go in and panel line the shoulders there, but I don't think I really want to do that. I think it looks better without the panel line. But yeah, some definitely some lines have gone ahead and panel lined. So it's, I'm pretty happy with how it looks so far, but definitely still can afford to make it a lot cleaner. It's still pretty, really messy. So, but anyways, Yesterday, well, when I uploaded the review, that was all stickers. So now you can see the kit with, well, it's paint. N not the best paint, of course. I've just done it all by hand paint. So it's not the best, but pretty passable. And I think it still looks better than the stickers. So, um, yeah, just to touch on the couple of mistakes that I made. One thing is that if you notice in the last video, if you didn't, it's fine. Um, I think it's kind of minor, but it's noticeable as well. If you noticed it, well, you're very sharp eyed, so good on you. But I actually missed out on putting the, if you see there, the two, the brown cables on the front of the legs, on the front side of the front of the lower leg there, these brown things there and there. There's one on each side of the each leg, so there's four of them. I actually did put those on yesterday. I left them out. I don't know why. I didn't read it in the instructions, but I just somehow missed it in the instructions. Anyways, another thing I missed out in the instructions, and this is probably an even worse mistake that I made, was that shield part. You see that purple part there? I actually put it on the spare shield that we have. Oh, sorry, not the shield. I'm talking about the the um, cannon here on the right arm. I actually put this purple piece on the shield, shield. So the spare parts, the shield that we get with this kit, I ended up putting that purple piece onto that shield instead of putting it on here. So if you noticed yesterday on the review, this purple piece wasn't on here which, and it's meant to be. So yep, definitely that was a pretty stupid mistake on my part. Don't know what the hell I was thinking, but anyways, I just, yeah. I normally don't make these mistakes with the kit, but yesterday sort of just, yeah, I guess I was just, I straight build this whole thing in one session, guys. So it was a pretty much a whole day of just building the whole kit. So yeah, I, that's probably why I was, wasn't in the right state of mind. But yeah, other than that, um, not much to add on in the review. I think I covered everything else in the review. Again, it's a really great kit, guys. You know how much I love it. If you go ahead and check out the review, the full review. I'll leave a link in the description, like I said, and at the end of this video as well. But yeah, it's just a really great kit. Um, and Bandai just really needs to drop more of these kind of kits. I don't know why we keep getting, I don't know, just kits that I don't personally don't really feel for. I think a lot of, I mean, I guess everyone in the Gunpla community would say that as well. Most people would just say that they're not getting the kits that they want. And it's a subjective thing. Everyone you know, wants the kit that they want, but Bandai just releases, you know, whatever they feel like. So it's, you know, it's never going to be perfect, but I think Bandai really just, please release more of these kind of kits. We love these kind of kits. Unique, you know, non-Gundam mobile suits. It might just be me, but I mean, I love, I've been recently just having a non-Gundam, non-main mobile suit type of phase. Just loving it. Yeah, stuff like that just always works. I mean, this is just such a great HG. I think we could really use more of that. And HGs nowadays, really in general, they're getting really good. So I don't have any complaints there. I mean, look at the St. Andrew Stein, the, what is it? What else is there? Let's see. Well, the Moon Gundam, um, 
well, there's plenty more. I just can't, can't think of it right now. But there's all the Destiny Gundam with the effect parts. Come on, man. I mean, there's so many good stuff. The whole revive line is pretty great. I'm not a big fan of the revive seed kits. But yeah, guys, anyways, other than the Destiny. But I don't think you would count the Destiny as a revive kit. But anyways, get, getting back on topic, guys, this kit really is a great kit. And yeah, just really hope. I wish Bandai would release an RG of like RGs, more RGs in general of these kinds of suit, mobile suits. We don't really get many RGs in general, but you know, just hopefully someday. I'm sure Bandai will someday release something. But anyways, this kit is just I can't stress enough how great of a kit it is. All the stuff that it comes with, so great. Um, just the design, such a great looking mobile suit. I think it doesn't get mentioned enough by people in the Gundam and Gunpla community. I mean, well, the people that have this kit, I've only heard good responses from them. They all love this kit and so do I because it really, really is such a great kit. Um, just the design, just look at it. It's pink and purple. It's got high heels. It's got like, I love those legs. Like, look at those legs. And I mean, the claws and just everything about it, man. The big shoulders, the little rose head, the the little the backpack the rose little rose buds on the backpack there you know just looking really awesome i don't know it's just we need more of these kinds of mobile suits seriously i mean what is there to not love about this kit and this design see it's just so great i think yeah definitely go check out the review guys and go pick yourself up one of these kits but yeah, guys, I'm not going to say too much in this video. I'm just going to leave it at that. I just really just wanted to mention the couple of things that I got wrong before I get a swarm of comments going, Ooh, the shield, actually, that's, an ex that's not an extra part. That's a part for the shield. Or, you know, somebody go, you forgot to put the cables on the legs, on the knees. So I didn't want to get any of those co comments. And I know a lot of people are still going to comment on my first video about missing out those things. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know that, yes, I did notice this, these things and I'm pretty bummed out about it. I really wanted to, to you know, I want to make all my reviews as perfect as possible. So it's unfortunate that I had to make those stupid mistakes. But anyways, guys, guys, bleh, thanks for watching and go check out that first review. Really, you know, it's such a great kit. Go pick it up. Just cop it, bro. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And see you guys next time.